Mexico, Mexico City. In the biggest city of the world is the neighborhood where I live, Coyoacán. Coyoacán is six miles south of the center of the city. It's a historic town inside of a cosmopolitan city. You'll find good food, bars, cafes, bookstores, art galleries, theaters, museums. It has a very active cultural life. The people who live here have a very strong sense of belonging and it's a very interesting feeling you get here in Coyoacán. Coyoacán means place of coyotes. Walking through its cobblestone streets, you'll come across beautiful colonial buildings and churches. We are in La Guadalupana. This is a old legendary cantina where you can have nice food, great drinks, a lot of fun, and it's a traditional Mexican cantina. Coyoacán, I think, is the Bohemian neighborhood. Throughout its history, there's been painters and all sorts of Bohemian people that live here. But the interesting thing is that Hernán Cortés founded his summer villa in Coyoacán because it, it, it has a micro, a warmer microclimate, warmer than the rest of the valley of Mexico. It had a little river, you know, next to the viveros, the trees, warmer weather. Yeah. That's how Coyoacán started. A couple of blocks away from the main plaza is the Coyoacán market, Mercado de Coyoacán. You can find everything from fruits and vegetables to toys and electronics. It's also a great place to eat typical Mexican food. This is a must, must eat. Elote or corn on the cob, but with a special preparation. Mayonnaise, cheese, chili, and lemon. Um. We're still here in Coyoacán in a pulqueria. A pulqueria is a place where they sell pulque. Pulque used to be a sacred beverage in the pre-Hispanic Mexico. Pulque is a fermentation from the extract of a cactus named maguey. What is creepy about this, still delicious, is that they use a, a chunk of shit, to be a horse shit or a cow shit, to help in the fermentation process. Good. In every corner in Coyoacán, there's music. Let's listen to some marimba music directly from Veracruz. Marimba. Marimba. 